next on Dress to Kill. Your challenge today is to style for a third date. Third date, you don't want to wear a red lip because you want to make out. Mental note. Can I see you? I think most guys wouldn't understand it. Well, also, they wouldn't know how to take it off. It'd be like... <laughs> Six of the country's top stylists will face each other in a head-to-head -head match for points. Then, a single elimination tournament will decide the winner. This is Dress to Kill. Welcome back to the workroom. Thank you. Thank you. Biagi, while we love the casual aspect of your girls' night out look, we think from a style perspective, it could have been elevated. And Corey, in your last challenge, we really appreciated your creativity and color, but you just broke one too many fashion rules. As you know, what's at stake is the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be a featured stylist for Glamour Magazine. Wonderful, yes. Your challenge today is to style Nicole and Tiana for a third date. Third date. <laughs> Third date is like close to third base. Mm. <laughs> you may be asking yourself exactly what that means, but I feel like we all kind of know that at that date, things start to get a little bit more flirty and fun. Stylist, you'll have 10 minutes to complete your look. And of course, <laughs> stylist, we'd like to see you incorporate these black leather minis into your looks. Good? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Good. <laughs> Good luck to both of you. you. Your time you. starts now. Sorry. Oh, honey. <laughs> Since I already know what the skirt is, next stop is shoes. Once I have the shoe, then I can sort of figure out what kind of top I want to pair it with. Once my shoes are comfortable, and once my shoes are sexy, I'm in a great mood, and that's what I want for my girl. I intend to layer the leather skirt. I don't want to use the skirt itself. I want to play around with it and use it in a very creative way. Oh, this piece of this. Put that on. I'm lay around it. But it's too long. Take that off. Can we see you? Different shirt on. Take that off for me. Take that off. Let me see what this is. Okay. I don't like it already. Right. <laughs> yeah. really happy. Okay, time is up. Sorry. Last look. Thank you. All right, we will see you soon in the judges' room. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hello, stylist. You remember our judge, Christina Perez, style development editor for Glamour Magazine. Hi, Christina. Hi, Christina. Hello. I'd like to introduce you to Rajni Jock fashion news editor for Glamour Magazine. Hello. Hey there. Biagi, please tell us what you came up with. I wanted her to be bright and happy on this date and show that she's excited to be with him and show some color in there. And then I put this little bracelet on that says love just to remind him of what they're there for. I loved the necklace when I first saw it and I immediately thought I just have to sort of incorporate that somehow. And that's kind of where the shirt came from and where the accessories came from. She's comfortable and she's ready to go. So you picked the necklace before you picked the shirt. I did, and I actually liked the way that the necklace lined up with the collar of the shirt. So why did you think such a bold necklace was appropriate for a third date? I think at this stage in the game, she can show off her personal style a little bit to him. And I wanted her to make a statement that she's not timid, she's not shy, she has a message to send, and it's happy and sparkly. And what about that bag? Can you tell us why you chose that? I loved the way that this sort of brought in the orange from the necklace. I just felt it it felt good with it. 
And what makes this outfit a perfect third date outfit? It's sexy, not overly sexy. It's happy, it's flirty, it's fun. She can do a lot of things in it. She's not uncomfortable. She's not gonna show anything accidentally. I think it's pretty perfect. And how'd you pick the shoes? I knew I wanted the shoe to be fun and comfortable. Those are the two things. For me, when I start my outfit, I usually start with my shoe and then I work my way up. Corey, please tell us about your look. I wanted to basically take the skirt and not just use the skirt itself, but I wanted to, that's where the layering effect comes in, just so it looks like it's one skirt. The contrast of the top really work well together and platforms are always comfortable to walk in. With a classy, elegant earring, classy bracelet, she has her clutch in there with her cell phone, lipstick, and she's ready to go. What makes this the perfect third date outfit? She's not giving off too much. She's not being too pretentious. Why did you decide to use the top? Because it has a lot of texture in it. Well, I'm a person of texture, so I thought the texture of this went well with the skirt. Why did you decide to cover up the skirt? I don't feel like I really covered it up. I just added it to this skirt just to give it a dimension so it looks like it's one skirt. You chose clear diamond-esque jewelry and then a gold bag. Was that meant to be? Did you want to mix the metallics? I wanted to mix it because of the contrast. I thought the contrast of the bag went great with the shoes and it also played off, off her jewelry. Do you ever think there's ever a don't for a third date? Of course, yeah. You don't want to come off slutty or too pretentious or like you're too easy. You want to be respected. And your outfit says respect. Totally. Why did you decide to go with a red lip? For a pop of color. Thank you, Stylus. You may return to the workroom. Thank you. I'm gonna start with Corey. I just love how he was able to layer the leather skirt and he didn't take it so literally and just put the leather skirt and just pair things. He got creative with it and I think he executed it so well and I just love that he added something extra. It was so different from his futuristic outfit. I mean. It was, it was so polished. You would never know it came from the same brand. I know, I almost yeah. did a double take. I was like, is that, is that the same person who right. gave us that? Right. Hunger Games outfit? Yeah. <laughs> but also the texture of the shirt. I really love the texture going with the print. I did think it was maybe a bit too polished. I didn't necessarily like how he did the low bun and the big chandelier earring and the red lip. I would have gone there with the red lip, but not you with would the have? bun. I would have gone I with the red like, lip. I feel like no, on a third really? date, you don't want to wear a red lip because you want to make out. I mean. You don't want to get your lipstick messed up. Well, and you don't want to get it all over his face. <laughs> but that's at the end of the night. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you should go with no, no lipstick. Mental note. I think the only thing I would change about Corey's was the purse. I would have gone for a small satchel-like purse that you can kind of Something slip over. Something over, yeah. I also really didn't like the bracelet, actually. I thought that it was, it was cheap looking. Because it was so sparkly? It was just unnecessary. I think it added to the too dressed up type of vibe. Totally. Okay, so then let's discuss Biagi's. Her look was definitely cocktail attire. It was a dressed up look, and I think that that was probably fun for her girls' night out, but. I think that would have been perfect for a girls' night out. It was so fun, and I feel like your girlfriends would really appreciate that look. They'd be like, oh my god, where'd you get that necklace? I love those shoes. Totally. I did love the necklace on its own. I just think for a third date, it's too much of a standout piece, and I think most guys wouldn't understand it. Well, also, they wouldn't know how to take it off. They'd be, like, <laughs> struggling. Yeah, that's for the girl that doesn't like the guy, and it's like... Right, it's like, get away from me. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch my neck. It was just a little too, too prim and proper. I feel like a girl can appreciate that, but on a third date, you want it to be fun but low-key at the same time and fashionable. I think Biagi has a really good eye when she's styling. I think that the orange bag with the orange element in the necklace and then the silver in the necklace and the silver shoe, I think that she does a really good job of pairing things together. It was a very mm -hmm. chic look. I agree with you, Whitney. She executed it really, really nicely and she does have a really, really good eye. Okay, well, it seems we've made our decision, so let's call the stylist back in. Corey, yes. the way that you layered the leather and the skirt on top of the leather was such a great stylistic touch. Thank you. And then on top of it, the way that you have the textured shirt in contrast to the skirt made it even better. The look is elegant, it's chic, and it's definitely third date ready. Thank you.
Corey. I'm a little concerned that the glittery earrings, the red lipstick, the glittery bracelet, and the jewel clutch might be a little too fancy mm -hmm. for a third date. Biagi, you've got this crazy sparkly necklace on your awesome outfit. And I think it's a great necklace, don't get me wrong. It's amazing, it's a statement necklace. But I almost feel like it would be better for a night out with the girls. That necklace to me says, don't touch me, like a repellent. <laughs> I made right. So that necklace might just be a little bit too much. Biagi, I just think your use of color is awesome. I think the way that you were able to pair things together and kind of make them match is great. And yeah, I'm more talking about the shoes to the necklace. I like how we get a little sparkle on the top, a little sparkle on the bottom, and maybe a little sparkle on the arm. It's a very blinged out look. I think you have a great stylist eye. Thank you so much. Corey. You dress to kill. Congratulations. Thank you very much, thank you. We were really impressed with your creativity here. We think it was young and fun and flirty and just definitely something we would all wear on a third date. Thank you, thank you, greatly appreciate it. This is my third win and I'm super duper excited. It was so much fun. I'm sorry, Biagi, you did not dress to kill. Thank you. While we think stylistically it's super cute, we think that maybe your statement piece is just a little bit too much of a statement for a third date. It is what it is. Uh, the judges have their opinion and, and that's the final one. But I'm still happy to have my two wins under my belt and see where it goes from here. Thank you, Silas. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Next time on Dress to Kill. I'd like to introduce you to Chriselle Lim. Hi, Silas. Your challenge for today is to style a revenge outfit. I'm just gonna go for, right, it. go for it. I almost expected her model to pull a whip out of the bag and like <laughs> crack it. Want to see who dresses to kill next? Subscribe to the Glamour channel, comment in the comments below, and follow us on Twitter at GlamourMag.